has asked us to do a holiday-themed episode this week, but we were a little confused because it's too early for Halloween stuff and it's too late for Labor Day stuff. So we're kind of in between holidays right now. But I guess the execs already have an idea in mind because today we got this big box delivered with a note from Peacock saying it contained everything we need to put on a fun, informative, holiday-themed show. So what do you say we open this thing and get the party started? All right, drum roll, please. Let's see what's inside the box. Hello, everybody. It's a time for the Amber Ruffin Show Columbus Day Special! Oh, oh hell, hell no. no! We're not celebrating Columbus. According to my contract, I have to. Ugh. Are you ready to get this started? Folks, I'm really sorry. No, I did not expect this. I mean, Christopher Columbus sucked butt. Nobody wants to celebrate that man, and it's honestly weird that some people still do. Hey! Shut up, Columbus. This isn't about you. Yes, it is. You know what? Fine. It is about you. Yo, lost ass, mass murdering ass piece of shit. Oh, come on! Yo, pony hat wearing father of the slave trade ass piece of shit. It's a not a nice. Yo, discovering a continent millions of people already live on ass piece of shit. How dare you! You old venereal disease spreading ass piece of shit. Hey! Hey! Columbus, did we lie? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we have to move on, but we are contractually obligated to check in with this dipshit throughout the show. So just stand over there and try not to commit any genocides. Okay. You guys, it's been a crazy week in America. Let's find out what happened. Today was Russian President Vladimir Putin's birthday. He celebrated by annexing some cake. (laughs) That's uh, that cake. It's my cake. That is now my cake. No, no, please. Blow out the candles. (laughs) That is my wish. (laughs) The Supreme Court started its new term this week and will reportedly consider issues like voting rights and affirmative action and whether Brett Kavanaugh should wear this to work. I love beer. I love it. I love beer. I love it. Bitch was crying talking about I love beer. Don't you question my love for beer. I love beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sexual assault. But beer. beer. According to Politico, election officials are concerned that groups will try to plant their supporters as poll workers to undermine election results this November. But... Something tells me they'll be easy to spot. There. I got one. Despite running on a pro-life platform, it was reported this week that Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker paid for a girlfriend's abortion in 2009. The woman claims that Walker gave her a check to pay for the procedure, and he sent her a get well card. Now, wait a minute. Oh, no. It's Herschel Walker again, everybody. Hey! It's Herschel Walker again, everybody! I just said that! Herschel, we are not doing this. I have to get through the monologue. No, what we're not doing is letting you spread lies. This is all just speculation and Tropicana. I think that you mean propaganda. You say tomato, I say sopranos. (laughs) Look, I'm here to set the album straight. I did not pay for that woman's abortion. Herschel, she has a check from you and a get well card with your signature. Objection, Your Honor. I'm not a judge. I'll be the judge of that. Now, looky here. I send money to people all the time. But just this morning, I wired money to a prince and his royal family in the country of N-word. Do you mean Nigeria? Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are your words, not mine. Herschel, aren't you afraid that this is going to tank your campaign? First of all, I believe in the Second Amendment, so I'm not afraid of tanks. (laughs) And fifth of all, the Republican Party will uh, definitely rally behind me. Are you sure? Of course they will. Well, my name isn't Hershey Watson. Your name is not Hershey Watson. You say tomato, I say Alyssa Milano. Herschel Walker, everybody. Herschel Walker, everybody. I just said that! 
Oh. On my last nerve. Mm. Moving on. The horror film Smile earned $22 million in theaters last weekend. It's the scariest smile since this one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, got myself another judge in the court. <laughs> well, uh, my face got bigger. <laughs> I'm actually a turtle. Oh, fun! Sandwich Shop Katz's Deli will release a new sub in honor of the New York subway. It'll include pastrami, provolone, and a little bit of piss. <laughs> That's it. Just, that's it. <laughs> the, the, I shouldn't have done. <laughs> we are so horribly behaved. Yeah. If my parents were physically here, ooh, the ass woman. <laughs> um, <laughs> please cut that out so I don't get a whooping when I go. Amber, the, were you talking about piss on television? And how I gave you a whooping? Come over here and get this whooping. Get this whooping. Hey. Depend yourself after the whooping. <laughs> the UK this month will see the launch of a bubblegum flavored vodka that changes from blue to purple after a mixer is added. And then it changes to a third color when you barf it up. <laughs> barf and piss? Barf and piss? And we're going to get this whooping. Get the whooping. You barf and piss on the carpet? That's another whooping. And finally, in the new animated special, Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo, the character Velma will be depicted as a lesbian. Also, <laughs> me too. Also, in every scene, Shaggy is straight up holding a bong. <laughs> and that was the monologue. Did you guys like the monologue? I like that. Okay. We have a lot of things to talk about this week, but before we get to all of that, I have a very special surprise guest here tonight, and I am so excited to chat with him. Please welcome actor and TV icon, Kadeem Hardison. for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'm a huge fan. A Different World was one of my all-time favorite shows. Yours too? OK. That goes for everybody. And your portrayal of character Dwayne Wayne was groundbreaking for introducing America to a young HBCU student who was smart and cool. Mm -hmm. What was it like to portray such an iconic character? Oh, well, thank you, Amber. Um, it was an honor. You know, one of my favorite things when strangers approach me out in the wild to tell me <laughs> that they've been inspired by my work. Aww. I love that. Aww. That's what it's all about. That's right, there is nothing better. No. Okay, can I say something? Who said that? It was me, sorry to interrupt, but I'm a huge fan and I just had to take the opportunity to tell Kadeem how much he inspired me. Oh, thank you. Uh, your work on A Different World showed me it was actually cool to be smart. Because of you, I stayed in school, worked hard, and became a cardiovascular surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kadeem. You inspired me. Wow. Your story of sticking it out and pushing, pursuing your goals until you achieve them, that's the real headline here. Young lady, the honor is all mine. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hardison. And Amber, you inspired me, too. Oh, really? Yes, your work in that sketch, Goldfish Who Smells Her Own Farts Underwater, <laughs> it showed me that sometimes it's OK to be disgusting. Plus, it was the first time I had ever seen a Black woman fart on TV. <laughs> thank you. You inspired me. Uh, great. Great, that's great. Thank you for speaking up. I'm glad I could help. All right, now we're moving on. Uh, I also have something I'd like to say. That's not really how this works. Let him, let him, let him. Kadeem, as a young man, I had a love for algebra, but was embarrassed because I didn't want the other kids at school to call me a nerd. 
That is until Dwayne Wayne came along and showed me how someone can be good at math and still pull fly honeys. <laughs> now I'm a nuclear physicist with a beautiful wife and a family of my own, all thanks to you. You inspired me. Uh, a nuclear physicist? Wow. I, I'm an actor, you know, uh, the dramatic arts of my craft. But no matter the yarn I spin, it could never shed light on the enigmatic subatomic life of a quark. Thank you for your work. You're the real inspiration here, my man. Ooh, 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 uh, and Amber, you inspired me too. I did? Yeah, all my life I've been afraid to sing in public, but then I heard you sing a song on this show that was so <laughs> off key and <laughs> so off beaten, just so bad. <laughs> I couldn't believe Peacock didn't force the editors to dub it over in post. <laughs> it was like you were trying to miss every note. Get to the point. You inspired me to never be afraid to let the world hear my voice. So, thank <laughs> you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Moving on. I just want... Wait, um, I also have something I'd like to say. Why is audience member miked. <laughs> Kadeem, your work on A Different World was fearless. The show never stood away from heavy subject matter like racism, the AIDS epidemic, or domestic violence. In fact, watching you tackle those tough issues inspired me to achieve my own dream of becoming an investigative journalist for the New York Times. <laughs> Thank <you>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, and Amber, your head is so very big. I Sit down! <laughs> Dang it, will you people just let me interview this man? I love him. I brought him here so I could get to know him and make him be my little friend. Now shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Kadeem. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. Oh. Okay, what do you do that brings you joy? Actually? Watching the Amber Ruffin show brings me joy. Yes, yes, absolutely. In these dark times, your blend of lighthearted humor and hard-hitting historical analysis has been exactly the thing we need to get us through this pandemic. Your comedy is an inspiration, and it begs everyone in America to tell the truth. Oh, thank you, because you inspired me to tell the truth. Aww. And the truth is, you got a big old head, girl. <laughs> like, it's like a boulder. How you walk with this head like this? Kadeem! You know what? I give up. Kadeem Hardest than everybody. You can catch Kadeem in the sci-fi show Moonhaven on AMC+. Plus. Yeah, my man. OK, so, hey, Christopher Columbus, what did you think of that segment? Honestly, I... Uh... I couldn't really follow it. Well, wouldn't be the first time you got lost, you dumbass. Hey! Zip it! 